Hi guys, welcome back, Jenna here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a Dollar Tree haul. I have to be honest with you, the Dollar Tree is like a guilty pleasure of mine, I'm not sure why, but like when I know I'm going to the Dollar Tree, I get like really excited, but I have to like plan it out and be like, don't buy anything that you don't need because it adds up quick, right? It's a dollar, but like you end up buying a hundred things, that's a hundred dollars. So I have to be really careful and pace myself in the Dollar Tree. Um, but I do think that I love when I find things that I look at them and I'm like, I could pay $10 or maybe more like $5 for this same thing at Target or something like that. So, um, I'm just going to get right into it. Today is mostly going to be like storage stuff. That's honestly my favorite thing to buy at the Dollar Tree. I do feel like there's a lot of things that you should not buy there. Like, honestly, I would probably never buy food or anything that like could expire or, you know, things that might not be safe for the kids or that kind of stuff. But I am not above finding good storage stuff or anything like that there. Honestly, I have a weird thing for like baskets and Tupperwares and storage and I just want everything to have a place like it drives myself crazy and I'm sure it drives everyone around me crazy but I love these things and I love to get new things and freshen things up. So I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because typically right now they're putting out a lot of fun spring things where they're putting out new colors, they come out with new basket designs and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I went to two dollar stores yesterday and then today and they just were both like wiped clean and I know they had this stuff out because there'd be like a few of everything but there wasn't as much as I was hoping to find so I got what I could and I still really like the things I got but I probably would have got a lot more had the shelves been stocked but it's really good for me to take it slow in there anyway so this is a good thing so one thing is I didn't get any Easter decorations but they do have some really cute things like wooden plaques with glitter and sparkles and all kinds of like wall hangings and cute little decorated eggs and all that kind of stuff. I just don't need any of that so I tried not to buy it. But if you are looking for like decor on the cheap, every season like Halloween, Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, go to the dollar store first because you never know if you're gonna find something that looks high quality but it's a dollar. And I also love that because I love to not store things, especially like seasonal things. I like to just like get rid of them or donate them or chuck them, whatever. I don't like to like hang on to it all year until the next year. That's like my own problem though. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get right into it. Again, like a lot of the things I picked up were like new spring colors that they have, but they definitely um, didn't have as much as I wanted. One of the things I was specifically looking for was their new acrylic organizers and they have like great acrylic organizers. They've been there in the past and I'm like kicking myself that I didn't pick them up. They had like little drawers and they had like the lipstick kind with like the lipstick slots and just different acrylic organizers and I don't know why I didn't get those because you can buy those for like $20 online and I promise I like held it. It wasn't like heavy duty but it was nice and it looked nice and I should have picked that up. I have not been able to find it probably for at least since before Christmas. So I should have picked it up. I talked to someone at the dollar store today and he said some things are just really hard for us to get in stock. So we're trying on some things but we just don't get a regular inventory like maybe most stores would. So the first thing I picked up are these little popsicle makers and um, you get four for a dollar. I'm sure you can get similar deals like this at like Walmart or something, but they were there and they were convenient and um, summer is coming. And I'd like to be able to give my kids some popsicles and just make different flavors like out of real fruit and like make them myself so I know what's in it. And like if I freeze fruit that's mashed up, my kids will eat it thinking it's a popsicle. I could probably even put some spinach in them. So I'm really excited to try these out. I think we'll get a lot of use out of them and it was a dollar, so why not? I'll move on, like this like the random stuff will get out of the way. I got this little shower caddy and I really like this because it has holes in the bottom so like no water is gonna collect in there. That's like really important if you're buying something for in the shower. And then it has little toothbrush holders I love to keep toothpaste and tooth my toothpaste and my toothbrushes in the shower and this is just going to give them like a more permanent spot which again is like a weird thing I have. I want things to have a spot even though they're fine like on the little rack. Now they have like a toothbrush spot so in my head it's like better. I don't know but it does have little sections. I don't know how well these are going to work. I will find a way to attach them if those don't work but anyways either way I'm excited about these. I love to keep is that just me? Like, I love to brush my teeth when I'm in the shower. It's like I got 100% clean, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, I'm excited to use this, and for a dollar, like, I've seen stuff like this at Target for, like, $8. So, I might as well give this one a try. 
Okay, and then the last like random thing are, they called them like little rugs. I don't have the tag because I already took it off. Um, but they're like this. I think these are really cute. I love the colors. They had a lot of color combinations, like more just like all blues or all reds, you know, whatever your thing is. They even had like black and white. But I liked the colors on this. And it was like an area rug that wasn't like that big. But um, I ended up getting three and like I sewed them together and now it's really big. Okay, Jacob wants me to actually show this really quick. So let's get to this. This is like a little- I want that. I know, let me finish telling them. This is a little ATV toy. And typically I do not like to buy toys at the dollar store because from my experience, they break or whatever. I don't know. They just aren't the best high quality, but it is a dollar to keep the kids- yeah, you can open it now to keep the kids satisfied. Also, that was die cast, so it's actually metal. Um, I'm interested to see if that one holds up compared to the other things that we've picked up there. I generally try not to waste my money on the toys. Anyways, back to this little rug. I actually sewed several together, so now it is pretty big. And um, I like that it has like fringe on the ends. It's not like a super high quality rug. Like this is a three, $3 rug now because I put three together. But... Um, I'm actually going to put it in the kids' rooms. It's more of like a little runner Mommy, now. Desert. Anyways, so I really like that. I thought the colors were really okay. fun, and I thought it would be like a really cute accent in a bedroom. Um, I can think of a million rooms I could actually put these this type of thing in. So I really like this. If And they actually had a ton, so I guarantee they're probably still at your dollar store. I almost actually forgot these things. Um, but I also picked up this like poster tack. And this is really good. Jacob has like a little school area where we hang up like the ABCs and stuff. And this stuff is really good to hang things up on the wall without putting like holes in the wall or like putting tape on the wall that takes off paint or anything like that. So I really like these, but these are also really good if you have like those organizers in drawers and you pop this on the bottom of the organizer. It's really good for keeping the organizer where it's supposed to be in the drawer as opposed to like sliding around when you open and close the drawer. So I really like these little poster adhesives and they were a dollar, so I mean they're really cheap. If you have never shopped in the Dollar Tree section of like gift wrap and stuff, they have some incredibly cute gift bags. I don't need any right now, otherwise I would have got some to show you guys. But they did, I did need some tissue paper. And I actually went to Walmart looking for tissue paper, not really expecting much from the dollar store. And Walmart didn't have what I needed. Um, we're gonna make these big like tissue flowers for my sister's baby shower, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So we needed cute colors. She was gonna have like a purple baby shower. And so I picked up this one as just like a generic one, but I really liked the purple that they had in it. So I got this one. But they also had some really cute ones. So we got this one and I think that these, Tissue papers are really cute and like the purple accents in them will go well with the purple and they'll add like a decorative layer to the tissue papers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to insert a picture, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And then they had just like this shiny one and I like these. I can use these for all occasions. They had a purple shiny one, which is perfect for the purple flowers. And then this is um, probably my favorite one. It has like these little dots. And this looks super Easter-y too, but it's also perfect for a baby shower. And then it has these like stripes. I really like this one. And again, with the purple. So, anyways, I just picked up a few tissue papers. And most of them are like 20 sheets for a dollar. Which, at Walmart, I was trying to get like sheets. And I swear they were like $2 for like 8 sheets. It was something ridiculous. Maybe the sheets are bigger, but for tissue paper, you don't need like huge sheets. Like you just need what you need. Anyways, so I also got these. Now let's get into like more of the storage type stuff. Look it. Oh wow, it's actually pretty good. It's like a little ATV. Anyways, so <laughs> good job, Jacob. So the storage stuff, one of the type of Tupperwares that they sell there that I really like and that it's kind of seems hard to find. So I always buy more than one when I'm there are this is this one and I like it because it has this like lid that's already on it and um, I give these kinds of things to Jacob to store toys in I think this is really great for crowns and coloring and just like kids types things where you want them to be able to have the lid connected so they don't lose it or anything like that but I think the size is really good and I think and we just, like, I'm obsessed with labeling, so we just labeled this. These are his, like, little Pokemon action figures. But I do love these. Um, I could probably never have enough of these. I'll find a use for these anytime. The next thing I got, I've actually never bought any of these before. Um, do any of you guys know about the Japanese dollar store? I think it's called Dai 8. 
I have a lot of memories going there when I was little. We used to go um, in Hawaii, they had one. Anyways, so we'd go to this like Daiye dollar store all the time and they had a lot more like cute things like this. And even as like a young child, like I was probably like eight and you know, younger, I was obsessed with getting these kind of containers. I didn't know what I was gonna put in them, but these actually are really good. This will fit um, regular sized crayons. And I was actually thinking of using this for myself to put ponytails and bobby pins and like little rubber bands and that kind of thing in. Um, just because it has, well, let me just open it. I like that it's connected, so like all my hair stuff, I don't have a lot of hair stuff, so it's all going to fit. Um, and then it's like little drawers. Actually, that's really cute. Actually, if you have a daughter, this would be like a really cute like Barbie dresser. Not dresser, but like Barbie. You know, like they have these like life size, I don't know, this would be cute for Barbie. But that's, I guess that's where my eight-year-old self liked these kinds of things when we go to the dollar store. But I do think I'm going to use this for hair things, but I can think of a million other uses for them. Maybe craft supplies, staples, uh, not staples, well I guess you could, but more like paper clips and things like that. Okay, the next things I got, maybe I went a little overboard on, but I really like this kind of thing. Um, wow, Jacob. Anyways, so I got a bunch of these like wire organizer baskets. I like to put these in drawers to separate like I'll put like toothbrushes in one and toothpaste in the other or you can do something similar with makeup like you could put lip glosses or whatever like if you don't have a great organization system. This is really great for so many things. Um, they will fit toothbrushes and they will fit like also utensils, forks, yeah, knives if you want to like kind of make a do-it-yourself. Um, organizer in that way but the way they have it pictured like they're storing like clips and stuff I think these are great for kitchen drawers and like seriously like just clips and and they have different sizes so like this one you could put like your measuring cups and like things like that just so everything is in its place because how many times do you need to find the teaspoon and it's in a drawer in the back and you, and you can't find it but if everything is a little bit more self-contained I feel like that's a lot easier and these are the three sizes that I got so it's like a long and wide one and a little wide one and then a long skinny one and um, yeah I'm gonna use these in my kitchen to like more separate my drawers and also in my bathroom to more separate my drawers in my bathroom <laughs> they do have a lot of other kind of baskets that are not wired like this that are like more solid plastic but for the reason for the uses that I'm gonna use these for I just feel like these stay cleaner they don't get crumbs in them um, and so I just kind of like these for that reason and plus I like the white wire I don't know why I think it's kind of cute in the way then I got these baskets which these are some of the new colors I think for spring that they have and on the camera it's picking up pretty green but it's actually like a really pretty turquoise anyways um, I really like these I think this like little detail makes it look kind of like a locker which is cute I don't know why but we have one of those like Ikea cubicles and these fit really well inside that so you can use these for like <laughs> sorry you can use these for like kids clothes like socks or whatever if you don't have like a good dresser system but I actually just get these for the kids to store toys in um, I actually really want to put books in this one because his books are a little bit overwhelming on the shelf that they're on right now so this can help organize his books a little bit better but there's a million uses that you can use I really like this size that they have um, I was gonna see if they had the size on it but I would say it's a decent size it's like bigger than my head so and I just got two because whenever I get one I try to get two just so I can have like coordinating products if that makes sense and then I got these two containers again these are like their spring colors and again these are for the boys to store their toys I like to keep I like to keep they don't necessarily like to keep but they're young and so they'll learn <laughs> but I like to keep their toys like categorized like I like all the cars together and I like all the action figures together or whatever it is and um, these are a really great size they like for the kind of toys that my kids have these are a really great size and I thought these colors were really fun and so we'll probably just like put a little label on here and then he has a place to store his toys then the last thing I'm going to show you are more baskets that I really like and they always have these there so um, I picked these up and this is like three set together so um, I really like these because first of all um, you can stack them like this if you like turn one so that's really great for if you have a space that you need to stack them um, but I actually use these in all my bathrooms under the sink for like cleaning stuff like just to keep it all contained I don't like to put like bleach and toilet cleaner right on 
the surface um, underneath my sink just in case it like erodes it or something. So this is a really great way to contain those cleaning supplies. Um, also it keeps it just a little bit more out of reach from the kids even though we still have to put like the kid locks on the doors but then it's just a little bit more organized, easier for me to find and easier for me to get to. I can also pull the whole bucket out if I need to clean. Ice cream in there? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so I really do like these. I think these are extremely versatile. I keep them under every, all my bathroom sinks as well as like under my kitchen sink. So I just really like to contain my cleaning supplies and keep them in an easy place to go. And for a dollar, this is like a pretty big basket. I don't know if you can tell how big because it's big. Ooh. Anyways, so that was my Dollar Tree storage haul, I guess, because it was all just basically storage stuff. Hopefully it showed you a little bit of the spring colors. I guess I got like all the blue colors because I have boys, but they definitely have like cute pinks and they actually have different designs like other than just like the circles that they've always had. They have like more like cute designs I think now. If you guys enjoyed that, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you follow along with us and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on our channel.